Thanks. You know how to wreck a mood, you do. <laughs> <laughs> said halfway through that clip, I love a good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert and Indira, join us now. Right, OK, so, uh, you're Detective Bobby Day mm -hmm. uh, and you're uh, Detective Nina Suresh and, uh, and so there has been a murder in a playground. OK, so I can start with that. Yes. The rest of it, and I've got two or three bits here, but I'm always terrified to wreck it. <laughs> so so this, is, this is your opportunity to tell us how much we can know. OK. Me first? Yeah, okay. <laughs> over to um, you. It's, uh, well, it starts off as a sort of police procedural in a rural Cheshire town mm. and um, where a, 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 a young GP is murdered in front of a young son um, for no apparent reason. And these cops who are not used to something of this magnitude um, get involved and the, the whole thing becomes uh, sort of more global, more um, corporate and it, it takes us to, 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 to Europe, to Germany yeah. and um, it's, not at it's not what it seems at it's first. It's not no. what it is. It's a conspiracy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But not only is it a conspiracy thriller, it's also character led. Yeah. And um, each one of these detectives involved is fully formed human being, yeah. full of flaws, anxieties, Problem, yeah. Yeah. and their own personal life, which they're trying to deal with themselves. Well, let's look at her personal life, because mm. you play Nina, and she's, she's very bubbly on the outside, but she is hiding a lot of insecurities. There's a very attractive young man working with her at the moment, which is causing problems... Well, no, not him. No. <laughs> um, and and she's, just, she's just taking out... He dumps her. Her boyfriend dumps her. And so what to do, what to do. Mm. She, she takes it out on everyone around her. Because that's what she does. And as far as Bobby's concerned, mm. uh, this is a guy that's approaching the end of his career. Yeah. Um, and he, too, is in a crisis. I mean, he's suffering from panic attacks. He's suffering from panic attacks. He's on medication from panic attacks. He's, come, as you say, coming to the end of his career. And basically, his career is all he's got. He hasn't got any family. He hasn't got any kids. Um, his whole life is work. So I think that, coupled with um, what's going on in his head, mm -hmm. Um, leads him to sort of become a bit of a maverick. You did, you did quite a few sort of stunts and things, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, all my own work. I love the fact that you were saying that, um, that you were... Look at you running through there, looking <laughs> oh, <super laughs> fully on top of it. In the fire scene, because you get trapped, I think, in yeah. a burning building. Did you, you worried the stunt guys because you, you said that you found the fire alluring. Yes, I mean, it is, isn't it? We all love a good bonfire. Yeah. Um, is this the Game of, Thro <laughs> Game of Thrones coming out in you? <laughs> no, this is just me. Um, yeah, it's great We fun. all love a good bomb. <laughs> Don't we? You are inside a blazing building. I mean, look at Guy Fawkes. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, it's really exciting because this is because it's character driven. Us as actors, we get loads of really interesting stuff to play. So it's very emotionally complex. Mm. Um, but every now and then you get to do something action y mm. and it's. it's, it's Different, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, going to keep fit, run really fast, well, yeah, get locked in a burning yeah. building. All I see is I see is a fat ball bloke who can't run very fast. But it is quite nice doing the action stuff, but there comes a point where you do... It is a major reminder of that you're getting a bit older and things weren't perhaps as they used to be. Yeah, well, all, you know, so. all we've heard about the series from people that have seen it upstairs is that it's absolutely brilliant and that it's oh, definitely one to watch. And it starts tonight at 9pm on ITV, so do not yeah. miss it. Before we go, um, you are just joined up to Twitter, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, when did, <laughs> when did you join on Twitter? Oh, about a few, a few weeks ago. Who got you into that? Dino, who plays Alec. Because ah, okay. he's really good at Twitter and all that sort of stuff. And then you say that the, the sad thing was that you've not, you haven't got your tick. I don't have... I haven't got my tick. You haven't got a blue tick. And I don't have any followers either. Yeah, well, <laughs> you will have more followers now uh, because you do have your blue tick. We've got it for you. Look! Oh, you're that's official. me! There you are. are. I better write something. Quick. Indie V9, <laughs> you better be interesting. Oh, we'll God. all be following. That's impossible. <laughs> Thank you both very much. Thank Lovely you. to see you. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. You have to take your clothes off. No! Well, that's lucky. <laughs> I know, I don't because, know. Because the, 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 I suppose to paint a picture of, of this man and his excesses... Um, is he would have his clothes off most of the time, you'd think. Yeah. 
Yeah, we see bits of that, I suppose, and we see uh, we see there's one. Uh, he the king commissions him to write something, gives him a chance to show show his true talents, and he comes up with this. His one play that he wrote was extraordinarily um, dirty, oh, and then we get to see a bit of that. 